I want to just share like 10 things that I think for sure you're going to need in your mobile vehicle. My name is Monique Powers and I'm a mobile esthetician with a cosmetology and manicuring license. In 2020, I closed both of my studios and moved my business into a custom built van I named Azalea. Take a peek at my version of van life, my personal life, and my vacations in between. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. How are you doing? It's actually late. I um, just finished up working. It's actually almost nine o'clock. But I wanted to come on here and just say hi and just to encourage anybody out there not to give up on your dreams. Okay, don't give up on them. Um, for example, a few weeks ago, I did share with you guys that I now have an online academy to teach people how to do lash lifting and tinting and that sort of thing. And it launched on September 15th and then on September 18th is when I actually um, it went live on my website and you know how Facebook they always send you like these memories um, it sent me this memory it says this is this is something that I posted on Facebook and it says <laughs> well this is what I said I said I'm excited to be creating my very first online course with Thinkific by this time next week or by the end of the year, my course will be live. Wish me luck. <laughs> and that was seven years ago to the day, to the day that it went live on my website. And seven is supposed to be the number for completeness. So I'm expecting great things to happen <laughs> with my online academy. And I just share that with you guys just to say, um, that was a goal that I had and I actually just forgot about it. And it wasn't until this year that I actually even started praying about it. And that's why it's even completed today. And I thought it took me maybe a year and a half to complete it because I was looking at my notes and it went all the way back to March of last year. But this memory tells me, <laughs> this memory from Facebook tells me, no, it was at exactly seven years to the day that it went live. So, um, you know, everything happens in its own perfect timing. I wasn't ready to, actually, I was going to launch another course, but um, this the, the whole lash lifting and tinting is, is way better. And I'm really happy that I, that I, um, have it out there now for other people to purchase and to learn from me. Anyway, I hope that inspires somebody that, you know, we just never know when our dreams are going to come true. And it wasn't until I honestly, until I started praying about it, that it became reality. Cause prior to that, it was just a dream. It was just something that I just put out there and I was, kind of working on it, halfway working on it, writing, you know, here and there, making notes and updates, but it honestly wasn't until this year. So anyway, don't give up on your dreams. You, we may sometimes forget about them. Maybe there's a delay. Maybe we're procrastinating. We're not working as fast as we really want to, but, um, if it's meant to, to be, it's gonna, it's gonna happen. So don't be discouraged. Okay. Cause, um, mine happened in seven years. Anyway, for those of you that are thinking that you want to go mobile in your business, you want to be a mobile esthetician, I want to just share like 10 things that I think for sure you're going to need in your mobile vehicle. And we'll make it quick. Um, where are my notes here? Okay. All right. So for those of you that are interested in going mobile, um, here are some of the things that you're going to need. The first and most important thing you're going to need is a bed and not just any bed. I actually had another bed in here before it was, um, I think it was 
30, maybe it was like 28 inches wide. And I needed something a little thinner than that, not as wide. So I found a bed that's exactly 22 inches wide. It does come with armrests, which I don't use because that would add another 10 inches to it. So the first thing you're going to need is, I would suggest an electric bed and one that is not so wide because when I was building out the van, I honestly completely forgot that I needed to cover the tire wells because that's going to eat up. That's going to eat up. I'm looking at it right now about maybe 24 inches you're going to lose from left to right. <laughs> so um, I don't have as much walking space as I would like, but I do have enough. I actually have about a foot and a half actually of walking space. So my hips aren't that wide. So I am able to just walk straight, you know, back um, to the back of the van or the front of the van. It doesn't matter. I can just walk straight. I don't have to like walk to the side or anything like that. So that's something to take into consideration. Um, when I did have my drawers and my, and my countertop built, I needed it like right up against the tire well. So it would not eat up any extra space because I needed every little inch, every little inch counts. So um, consider getting a bed that's not more than 22 inches wide. And they are out there because I do have one. The bed that I have is 22 inches wide. So. That is number one. Um, the other thing that I have is a mini air purifier. You definitely want that in there just to purify the air. It doesn't hurt. Um, everything that I'm going to mention is all mini size. <laughs> um, and yeah, I guess you could use some of these in a, just a regular studio, but um, the real estate inside your van is very valuable and you do not want to clutter it up with a bunch of things. So um, you're definitely going to want to keep things very neat and tidy and in their place. So um, the air mini, uh, the mini air purifier is number two. The third one um, I would recommend is a mini tabletop steamer. And the one that I have has actually um, an extension on the arm. You're definitely going to want to do that. So it will uh, reach over um, in the middle of your bed or wherever you want it to reach at it definitely needs to have an extension on there because just the regular tabletop steamers the arm is not long enough so you need to find one with an extension and the other thing i would suggest any towel warmer the one i have i normally put about four towels in there at one time but i think it can probably hold about um six six towels um, the other thing I would suggest is getting a magnet that has a table clamp on it because you're not going to want one that um, has legs on it because that's taking up real estate <laughs> in the van. So definitely it has to have a table clamp on there. And then the other thing I would suggest is a mini trash can that has a sensor on it, something that you don't have to touch. You can just work the way you need to work and not be touching a bunch of things or using your foot to open it up. Just get one that has a motion sensor on there. And I do have the same for my um, dirty laundry as well. And that one has a motion sensor on there as well. Um, the other thing I would suggest is getting a, like a little mini jewelry cleaner. I actually use that to um, sanitize all my, um, my tools before I drop them in the, um, rinse them and then drop them in the barbicide. So I would definitely do that. And then I would get a mini table fan. I do have Max Air fans. I've talked about them quite a few times. I have two of them. Um, but it always feels good when the air can just, it actually the air is coming down from the ceiling onto the client. Um, but sometimes I'll use a table fan as well just to get um, a little bit more cool air on the client if I need it. I don't need it all the time, but um, it is good to have um, a tabletop fan and preferably one that um, doesn't have a cord Definitely on it. do that. And then I would get a mini wax pot. I don't do any waxing in here, so that's why I don't have an example to show you. Um, I would definitely do that. So everything that I mentioned is all mini size and it all works perfectly 
in a van. If you're thinking about going mobile, I would definitely get those 10 things. And I'll try my best to remember to put a link down below on um, all the things that I actually mentioned that you're definitely going to need in your van. Okay, so think about that, you guys. Pray about those things. It's totally doable to go mobile if that is a dream of yours. I would probably start looking at some um, auction sites and um, where else would I look? Oh, eBay. I would look on eBay as well. Those are two um, spots before you go to a car dealership. Okay. I actually went to a car dealership because um, I didn't know. I mean, I <laughs> wasn't thinking about going to an auction, but you know, the first car dealership that I went to, that's that's where he gets all his cars from. He goes to an auction. So how come we can't just go to an auction and get a vehicle, right? So anyway, I hope that helps someone out there. I'm actually going to hop off on here now. I'm actually going to go to Vegas tomorrow, and I'm taking you guys with me. And I'm very excited about that because um, I need a little bit of relaxation. I'm not sure exactly what, what I'm going to be doing. But I know on the first day, I'm not going to be doing anything. And the next day, I'm going to do even less. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I hope you have a very good night. And I will see you in Vegas in the next video. Okay? Have a good night.